Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. Since jailbreak with the Blu-ray disc method is trending right now, in this video I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to change the Blu-ray disc icon so it looks more interesting. Alright, without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Actually, to change the Blu-ray disc icon, there's already an app made by Master9 called Change App Image. Besides replacing the Blu-ray icon, you can also change the text name of the Blu-ray disc. After you finish editing, just click Build. The result will appear as a new final file. The problem with this app is that you'll need to burn the ISO again onto a new Blu-ray disc, since the change happens on the disc, not on the PS4. For those of you who bought BDJB, this will obviously cost more money. The second issue is that the icon image doesn't display fully. It gets cut off by the disk graphic underneath, like this. Luckily, there's another method that's completely free, and with this method the icon image can appear in full just like this. The only downside is that you won't be able to change the disk's text name. Okay, now let's get into it. First, prepare the image that you want to use as your icon. I already have mine ready. Next, we need to resize this image to 512 by 512 pixels, and the format must be PNG. To do that, I'll be using Canva, since it's more flexible when adjusting image positions. But you can use any editing app, as long as the final output is 512 by 512 pixels in PNG format. Okay, now I'm inside Canva. Click Create in the top left corner, then choose Custom Size. Enter 512 in both the width and height fields. Make sure the unit selected is PX or Pixels, then click Create New Design. After that, upload the image file you've prepared earlier and adjust the position however you like. You can also add text or other elements if you want. It's all up to your preference. Once you're done, click Share, then select Download. Make sure the file type is PNG and finally click Download at the bottom. Okay, our icon file is ready. Next, we need to install the Icon Mask app on the PS4. For that, first download the PKG file. All right, the file we need is ready. Now, copy it to a flash drive. For the custom icon file, we need to place it inside a folder named Icons, written in all caps so it can be detected by the Icon Mask app. So first, create a folder named Icons then copy the custom icon file into that folder. After that, also copy the icon mask PKG file into the root folder of the flash drive. Done. Now, safely eject the flash drive from your computer and let's switch to the PS4. Insert the BDJB or Blu-ray jailbreak disc into the PS4. As you can see, the icon is still the default one. All right, let's change it. First, activate the jailbreak and hen. Okay, hen is now active. Next, plug in the flash drive that contains the icon file and the icon mask PKG file into the PS4. Now I'll install the icon mask app. To do this, go to the gold hen menu, Choose Debug Settings, then Package Installer. Select the Icon Mask PKG file from the flash drive to install it. Installation is complete. Before going back to the PS4 home screen, we need to temporarily enable Title ID display so we can see the Title ID of the Blu-ray disc. To do this, go to the main Gold Hen menu, then go to Cheat Settings, and under Show Title ID, choose Only Title ID. Okay, now let's go back to the PS4 home screen. As you can see, the Title ID is now displayed under each icon. What you need to take note of is the Title ID of the Blu-ray disc. Once you've written it down, disable the feature again so it doesn't clutter the icon display. All right, moving on. Now let's open the Icon Mask app. Here, choose Pre-Made Icons. At the bottom, you'll see the custom icons stored on the flash drive has been detected, while at the top are the default icons that we're going to replace. 
Now, select the default Blu-ray icon. Use the R1 button to scroll until you find the default Blu-ray disc icon. Once you've found it, make sure the title ID matches the one we wrote down earlier. Because sometimes there can be two icons with the same image but different title IDs. For example, these look the same but the title IDs are different. So make sure you select the right one. Once you've found the correct default Blu-ray disc icon with the matching title ID, press the X button to apply. Okay, the default icon has now been replaced. Exit the Icon Mask app. As you can see, the Blu-ray disc icon hasn't changed yet, because to see the change, we need to restart the PS4 first. Okay, the PS4 has restarted, and now on the home screen, you can see the Blu-ray disc icon has been replaced with our custom icon. Let's activate Jailbreak and Hen again. Okay, Hen is active. Now, if you want to revert the Blu-ray disc icon back to default, it's easy. Just open the Icon Mask app again, then change the template icon at the top by pressing R1 and L1 until you find the default template. Once you've found it, select Apply and wait for the icon replacement process to finish. Done. Now exit Icon Mask and restart the PS4 to see the result. As you can see, the Blu-ray icon has returned to its default image. Let's activate Jailbreak and Hen again. Okay, Hen is active, which means everything is working normally. So guys, that's the complete tutorial on how to change the Blu-ray disc icon on PS4 using a custom icon with the help of the Icon Mask app. With this method, you can make your PS4 look cooler according to your own style, without spending money to burn a new disc. If you still have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments below and I'll try to help answer. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you again in the next video.